Welcome to Exo News TV. I'm Michael Sala. On August 19, 2014, Russia's official news agency TASS reported that Russian scientists had found microbiological life on the surface of the International Space Station. The Russians first detected the microbes over a year ago and confirmed that the organisms can live in zero gravity, extremely low temperatures and with cosmic radiation. Despite the harsh conditions, the Russian scientists reported that the bacteria were thriving on the surface of the International Space Station and could live there for years. In response to the Russian announcement, NASA has maintained a stone-faced silence, neither confirming nor denying it. Why the strange NASA response? What does NASA have to fear from the Russians announcing the discovery of microbes on the surface of the International Space Station? The microbes were discovered due to Russian astronauts doing a routine maintenance mission of cleaning the windows of the International Space Station, which were gradually being clogged up by a mysterious substance. Rather than just cleaning up the windows, however, the Russians decided to examine the mysterious build-up to find out what it was. The Russians, to their surprise, found it was a form of sea plankton. How did it get to the surface of the International Space Station and, more importantly, thrive in the vacuum of space? According to Richard Hoover, who worked as a NASA astrobiologist for 46 years, it is highly unlikely that the microbes were carried there by high-altitude winds. At a height of 200 miles, the International Space Station is too high for wind currents. Nor is it likely that the International Space Station was contaminated, since the sea plankton was nowhere near the launch facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. In either case, neither of these two unlikely explanations would explain how Earth-based sea plankton could actually grow in outer space, which was one of the observations by the Russian scientists. A more likely explanation favoured by Hoover is that the sea plankton was carried there by cometary debris which contains significant amounts of water molecules. The water molecules dispersed by cometary debris are accompanied by microorganisms that flourish in space. Hoover's analysis of the Russian discovery is stunning in its implications. It supports the theory of panspermia proposed by Sir Fred Hoyle and Dr. Chandra Vikramasinghe that microbiological extraterrestrial life can exist and travel in the vacuum of space on comets and radiation pressure. Most importantly, it suggests that the Russians have actually discovered extraterrestrial microbes on the International Space Station, not Earth-based sea plankton that somehow travelled there. The Russian discovery undercuts two important ideas that NASA has assiduously fostered over five decades of scientific research in space. The first is that space is a vacuum where life cannot exist. The second is that there is no reliable evidence of life existing anywhere else but on Earth. The Russian announcement is a major embarrassment to NASA since it demonstrates that both ideas are false. NASA's silence to the Russian announcement now becomes more understandable. Rather than admit that extraterrestrial life can exist in the vacuum of space and is widely dispersed throughout the universe, NASA prefers to keep the truth from the US and world public.